Earl of Golf. The prize money is $10,000. To the winner goes $7,000. To the loser, $3,000. And in case of a tie, both players will receive $5,000. And in addition, for a hole in one, $10,000. Good morning, man. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Good morning, Jim. Jim. Roberto, it's sure nice to see you again. You know, I was watching you practice. You're hitting that ball awfully well. How many times have you been on this show now? Oh, this would be my sixth time, yeah. Well, Jim, we ought to recommend him for an Emmy. What do you mean, Emmy? Well, Jim, explain to him what an Emmy is, would you? <laughs> <laughs> this Emmy is a pension. Like this, huh? <laughs> well, he's had a pension on this show, hasn't he? You bet he has. And, uh, Sam, I think that, uh, you have won about as many tournaments, or reputed to have won more tournaments than any golf in the history of the world. You and Roberto, Roberto down in South America from Buenos Aires, and you from the United States. Uh, what are some of the great thrills that you've had out of winning tournaments? Well, actually, Jimmy, I think the first time I won, I was in Oakland, California in 1937. 27? Yeah, well, <laughs> have, you, have your pick. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's funny, when I came off the uh, green, I didn't know the grapevine was as fast as it was. And they said, well, you just won. I said, what do you mean I just won? Craig Wood and all those other fellows are still on the golf course, and they want to take the picture. And I said, no, it's bad luck. Fred Cochran grabbed me by the arm and dragged me in the tent. He said, no, you've just won. I said, well, you're crazy, man. And I wouldn't let him take a picture until after the guys came in. Well, well I was sure happy. Well, I'll bet you were, and that's yeah. quite a thrill to win your first tournament. You remember the time that we were down in uh, Buenos Aires? I think that's back in 1940 or 41, and you and I had the pleasure of playing with this young man here. You know what do you mean? He was in the cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he I was mean, in the crib. <laughs> he was in the, he was in the baby crib, wasn't he? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we were pushing him around and. Uh, and uh, it's, it's just marvelous to see you. here we are 35 years later and you're competing against this fellow. And I never shall forget that I think he shot a 68 and beat our best ball that day, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jim, uh, Roberto won the toss, so let's get this match going. Well, wonderful. Uh, Roberto, you won the toss. Good luck to you, Roberto, and good luck you. to you, Sam. Thank, Thank you, Jim. Congressional's opening hole is a 405-yard par four. It's straight out over a swale of rough to a rising fairway with bunkers about 240 yards from the tee. The green is well trapped. Par for the course is 72. It measures just over 6,900 yards, but will probably play even longer because a lot of rain has fallen here recently. Rules are those of the USGA, so the big American-sized ball must be used. Roberto Di Vicenzo has the honor off the tee. Uh, Roberto kind of half tops the first tee shot here in the morning. It will not reach the fairway. It's in the tall grass just prior to the fairway. The fairway actually starts out about 160 yards off the tee, and Roberto, uh, he seemed to rush that backswing, didn't he? Yes, he did. He sort of snapped at it. He sure did. Sam Snead has one of the most fluent swings I guess the game has ever had. He will go on forever, and uh, he, I think the secret of his game is a beautiful rhythm that he has. Let's take a look at it. Sam hooks it off down the left side. It's headed toward the sand trap. It's going to land just short of the sand trap, and it stops there. It doesn't reach it. Gene, they're going into a pretty brisk wind here today, and Sam's in the rough to the left of the trap short, and Roberto is short of the fairway, only about 160 yards off the tee. Roberto Di Vicenzo and Sneed got off to a bad start here, Gene, early this morning, and uh, Roberto topped his tee shot, half topped it. He's not in the fairway a long way off, and is going to use a three wood for his second shot. And he hit a beautiful shot with a three wood. He will not reach the green. He'll be just about 60 yards short of the cup itself, but with a fine shot out of the tall rough here on number one at the Congressional Club in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Sam Sneed, about 235 yards from the tee in the left-hand rough, has a big shot to play to this elevated green and will use a three iron. Well, he's right at that flag, Gene. It's headed right toward the pin. It's going to land on the front side of the green, runs up just about pin high. He landed on the upslope, or he might have been back in this bunker, but the ball slowed down, and he's just about cup high and has about a 35-footer for a birdie. Roberto Di Vicenzo with a wedge for his third shot. Right at the flag, it looks awfully good. Oh, beautiful shot by Roberto. 
Hey, Dean, you look like...